back to my channel. So today I'm doing a what's in my bag video. I've already done a what's in my travel bag video, which I talked about like my flight carry-ons a little bit and what I carry for a day of exploring a new city, shopping, vlogging and all that. Today I'm just talking about what bag I carry when I'm at home in Mumbai. Maybe just going out for like a lunch date, running errands, uh, attending some event or something like that. Keeping it really simple, I have a very tiny bag. Because I've talked about how in the past I'm a bit of a hoarder and I tend to carry my entire world with me. So to combat that and to not carry unnecessary junk with me, I just started carrying a smaller bag so that forces me to not like carry too much stuff that I don't need. This particular bag is from Lavi and I really like it because the colour is really cute. The material is very nice, it's not leather but it's still very very tough. So it doesn't get scratched or dinged or anything easily and trust me, I'm very very rough and I have two cats. This has like the gold Lavi logo here and all the hardware is gold. Personally, I do prefer silver hardware a little more but I don't mind this one. I don't think it clashes with what I wear or anything. It has a chevron print on it and it has two zippers like one in the front, one in the back. It's also deceptively large because though it looks like a small bag, it does carry a lot. It's got a nice boxy shape. So that's what I like about it. It looks small but holds a lot but not too much. So let's just open it up. I actually don't think I have anything in the front. No, I don't have anything in the front. Let me check the back pocket. Oh, I have something here. I think I know what it is. Yeah, I have this little badge that I picked up in Bangkok. Uh, it's just like a pin badge and you can put it on clothes or bag or anything. It's ceramic and it is an eye, like a human eye. I think it's very cool. That's why I picked it up. It's a little bit morbid, a little bit different, but I like it, but it's pretty cool. The front and back pockets are not for anything super bulky but something small like what I just showed you or like memory cards or something they'll hold nicely. And that's why I like them. You can even put like money or something there if you're not carrying a separate purse because a very big purse might not fit in this bag so you could directly put money in the pockets. And I would also obviously carry my phone in here. I have the iPhone 6 plus so it's pretty big but it would fit in this without any problem. I am just recording audio for this video here. My mic is hooked up to it, so it's not inside the bag. I just thought I'll let you guys know, here it is. So now let's just dig in. The first big thing that's coming into my hand pretty easily are this pair of Ray-Ban sunglasses. They are the Ray-Ban round, I think it's RB3447, with silver matte hardware and uh, reflective lenses. I think these are silver or blue lenses. Not really sure. If you've been watching my channel a while, I'm sure you've seen them in like a ton of videos. I did a Ray-Ban collection video where I talked more about my favorite Ray-Bans and it's almost like I don't have any others because I keep reaching for this with every single outfit. The next thing that I have in here is my purse from Accessorize. You might have already seen this in my travel bag video. So yeah, it's a little bit old but I still like it because it's nice and small and compact. It even fits into the back pocket of my jeans and it has everything I need, namely money, my identity card, my debit card and a separate place for coin change. So I can't fault it and I don't want to change it anytime soon really. Next is the powder compact or the powder foundation that I've been using for a while now. It's the NYX Stay Matte but, but not flat, yes. Why would you want to be flat? Powder foundation. I don't really know what to make of this foundation. I don't like it that much, but I don't hate it either. But it's a nice compact. So I use this for touching up my makeup, just looking at my face, <laughs> applying lipstick, uh, combing my hair, whatever. The mirror is pretty nice. It's a pretty big mirror. Next thing is the Badger Cuticle Care Balm. This is all natural. Uh, it has lemongrass and ginger in it and this is the second tin that I'm on. I've had a tin of it in the past as well. It smells amazing and it's really great to take care of your cuticles. I used to be a nail biter but in 2016, I completely gave up biting my nails and now I grow my nails. So in case you bite your nails guys, it can be done. You can stop biting your nails 
and grow them because I did it and I try to take care of my nails on the go because they can still be a little bit brittle but right now I have matte nail polish on so I probably wouldn't put this balm on right now it might spoil the finish otherwise it's nice to have next is the Smith's Rosebud Salve and this is a multi-purpose balm you can use it in your lips, face, elbows just about anything another natural product that smells really nice and comes in a super cute tin like having this with me this is pretty cool and I would recommend it one makeup product in here I, I think I probably have some more yeah I do have some more this is the Lacme Lip and Cheek a weightless mousse the shade is blush velvet I reviewed three of these shades in a separate video so in case you'd like to know more about this product you can go check that out but this is a nice sort of dusty rose color dusty pink uh, muted color and I've worn it in many videos on my lips you can use it as, as a blush also but I'm more of a bronzer person it's just pretty nice to have and when I'm struggling to think about what color I should put on my lips I always reach for a neutral like that the next makeup product what I have is from Colourpop it's the ultra satin lip in the shade Barracuda this is one of my later like Colourpop purchases um, from their fall collection I'm not wearing it on my lips right now I am wearing Frickin' Frack but this is so similar to Frickin' Frack it's crazy pretty much a dupe it's just very slightly deeper so if you have Frickin' Frack you might not want to buy Barracuda and vice versa Frick and Frack is without a doubt my most used Colourpop lipstick or like lip colour so I like having another one like it next I have a Bath & Body Works pocket back which is a cute little mini hand sanitizer. the fragrance is called Ahoy Sparkling Seas so it's an antibacterial hand gel that you can use to like keep your hands clean before you eat or put your hands on your face or whatever basically I'm obsessed with these mainly because of how cute they are and how nice they smell and I bought a bunch of these in Bangkok I also did a haul video where I showed them to you guys so yes two more makeup slash body products one is the Island Kiss Perto Berry Balm which is a lip balm it's nice if you don't want to put your finger in a lip balm tin when you're outside because you can apply this directly onto your lips and it has a little bit of tint and then I have the Crabtree and Evelyn Lasso's hand cream Crabtree and Evelyn is sadly no longer in India I think it's my last one but I really like it and this is another repeat from my travel bag video so you'll know that the smell is a little bit like the sea and it's nice for dry hand emergencies which I have a lot of in winter then I have earphones these are unused I've never used them because I don't like listening to music when I'm around in the city or commuting and stuff I prefer listening to music at home but I just have these in case like I want to watch a video or listen to any songs on the go I haven't even opened them yet but these are by happy plugs I have like four or five of their earphones these are the silver in-ear ones and they're really nice they also have a mic so you can just talk on the phone as well with that and the final thing in here yes it is the final thing is my very trusty Sony vlogging camera I've had this for maybe a year and a half I think and it's a little bit beaten up at this point because I've been clumsy with it and I've dropped it down but it still keeps on going and I use this to vlog my daily vlogs which you may see on my vlog channel Magali vlogs travel vlogs go on this channel but my regular everyday life Mumbai vlogs go on my vlog channel so this has a flip up screen and it's just super nice that was everything inside my bag right now and it's not a lot but it's just everything that I need uh, when I leave the house in Mumbai and I hope you enjoyed this video if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time bye